Well today, the Rex kilowatt hour meter here out of my collection and I have not made a video of this before this meter is new old stock or NOS it's an English made meter and the meter is still on zero four digits, two decimals 600 revolutions per kilowatt hour I'll let this meter tick over for a wee while and then we'll go into more details. I had this meter hanging on my wall for quite a while but um, never made a video of it. Game X Waitemata electric power board in Takapuna. Most likely it's been a sample meter and uh, I've never seen these in service here in New Zealand. So that's why I make this video. It's very pleasing to see the disc spin which is always a real relaxing. Uh, movement basically. Let's get into some details and I'll show you the old vintage dust. You can see there's quite a bit of dust on top of the meter. Been hanging on the wall here for about probably 10-15 years at least and uh, it accumulated a little bit of dust. Let's say that way. Look at this. Beautiful. Spinning disc is absolutely awesome. The load is 9.5 ampere, a simple 2 kilowatt heater. It's connected to the device. Also, the wiring configuration is standard British standard active in, neutral in, neutral out, and active out. Okay, I'm about to take the cover off. Oh, the oh my, so nice. Oh, beautiful. Absolute perfection. Rex meters, um, Hendon NWS, not, not too sure what part of the UK that is, but yeah, meters also rated 10 ampere. This is type 3A, 3 alpha. Uh, gear train is all made of brass, nice plated brass, beautiful. Simply brilliant. Here's the worm drive into the gear train. And this all happens under the watch fire, watchful eye of Lucas. Lucas, push, push. Lucas Lucy into the sunlight. Hello. Get a bit of out of focus there. Now yeah, the ratio gears, it's actually from the main spindle that goes to an increased speed. But uh, yeah, that's the ratio gears, those two, and that drives the dial. The dial really resembles a lot of the English measurement and London measurement meter types. So it's obviously a subsidiary of that or the manufacturers have bought each other out and decided to make their own registers and take, use them on different meters. I'll see if we can take the train off the register. It looks like it's a clip-on system which is quite cool. Yeah, that's the typical catches on these. And then Flick these over and the meter register should hopefully come off. 
which it does or doesn't. There we go. Look at this, this is material that you don't see now these days anymore in the plastic age we live in. Absolute pure engineering. Okay, I'm going to put the meter dial back onto its location. The meter retention magnets really look like landers and gear style. Obviously in the 1940s when these meters were made, um, the, meat, the magnets got sourced probably from a supplier and were used on different manufacturer meters. Well, the register's back in place. Um, yeah, it's just a pleasure to see these type of meters. And um, I do my little uh, part on the internet to hopefully uh, keep some of these images alive for future generations to come. As uh, a lot of these meters have probably been disposed of over the years. And yeah, it's great uh, to know that there are even more meter collectors out there on the internet because there um, seem to be only very few. Bombbox, Deluxe, Larry, HDX F8, Steven 715, uh, to name a few meter collectors I'm aware of. But uh, it is uh, a great hobby. And uh, anybody one who wants to take on a collection like this, just go to your local utility or it's probably a bit harder now because uh, everything is contracted out. So yeah, if you can get your hands on some meters, just use them, uh, get hold of them. And there's an interesting variety because now in the next few years a lot of this stuff is going to get replaced with the plastic rubbish. It maybe lasts three or four years and gets thrown away again, so it's a real pity. Let's do a look at one of these dolls, it's just uh, fantastic, pure beauty. Watch that meter spin. Here we go. Half calf, love now five, thief, leave, love and chuff. Click, click, plonk, plonk. Just get it out of the system. The time is uh, 16.49 hours on the 30th of September. September 30th. Let's get the disc on one more time. Even marked on North Pole, South Pole and the Lucas. Yeah, Lucas has been watching me all the time. We'll spin the camera over quickly. Lucas. Lucas Lucy. The tail is covering up nicely again to the device. Cat. The Rex Type AC kilowatt hour meter made in Hendon. Thanks for watching. Okay, part I forgot this is the cover. And it had a nice dry gasket in here. It's it's around here, and just the thing I noticed on the meter, which is quite amazing for calibration. Have a look at this. That's actually in uh, graduated scale calibration scale underneath the disc. So if I stop it here, there are marks underneath here. Never seen this on the meter. So if I de-energize the load at the right moment, I'll get myself in position. To the start stop test, stop the meter, start the meter. It's a bit of overshoot there, but that's all right. That's quite cool to see a graduation disc underneath uh, the meter accuracy disc. It's just engineering at its best.